Praise God. And we just want to be seated. We kind of a special awareness session on the coronavirus. And um, we're going to invite Sister Nalty. Sister Nalty here? Sister Nalty? Okay. Sister Nalty is coming to introduce our presenter. And we're really happy to have, have him with us. Take a special time out to come and share with us. Yes, yeah, so. Yes, Praise the Lord, everyone. Well, you see, we have with us Mr. Michael Williams. He's one of our public health inspectors, a veteran. He has been in the business for many, 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 many years. He worked with the surveillance unit at the Ministry of Health and present is with the epidemiology unit at the Ministry of Health. Environmental health. So as a public health inspector, he speaks about the health of the environment. I know COVID and, and the other conditions, other disease, he has the knowledge and the expertise and he's going to share that with us. Let us welcome him by saying, praise be to God. Thank you very much, Sister Nalty. When I'm at work, I'll say Nurse Nalty. <laughs> Praise the Lord, everybody. Okay. All right, so I came in earlier and I saw the rich praise and worship. And I want to encourage you to continue, COVID-19 or not. We're going to praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. All right, so thanks for the invitation from your pastor, uh, board, and Sister Nalty to share with you on COVID-19. And just want to begin by saying there is a whole lot of panic going on, not just in Jamaica, but the entire world. There's no need for it. If you're covered under the blood, why do you need to worry? Amen. Amen. So I'll go quickly with the presentation. So we're talking about the making of a pandemic. The making of a pandemic. All right. So COVID-19, it all started in 2019. And that is why it has the name 19. So it all started in December in China, where a doctor and you can see the picture of the doctor on the screen he noticed that a number of patients persons were becoming ill with pneumonia and it was a rising number of cases it was unusual unusual because the cases were beginning to rise rapidly and uh, they all had uh, the similar signs and symptoms. And so he sounded the alarm like a good watchman. And the authorities tried to keep him quiet and said, shut up, you don't know what you're talking about. But eventually, there were 44 cases of this unusual pneumonia. And let me just tell you, that there is what is called seasonal flu. Now in Jamaica, we have flu all year round. But in the temperate countries like North America and Europe, including China, because snow falls in China, they have what is known as the seasonal flu, and it usually occurs during the colder months of the year. So this new pneumonia was coming up, and they noticed they had 44 cases and 11 of them had to be hospitalized. Anyhow, soon after that, what happened was that the cases did not dwindle, but they continued to rise. And the WHO office in China reported to the international WHO office that something unusual is happening. Okay? All right. So as we move on with the slides, 
That is a picture of a province in China. And the province is Hubei. Hubei province. And that is the city of Wuhan where it all started. In Hubei province in the city of Wuhan. Okay? So it continued to spread and eventually the head of the World Health Organization had to meet with the Chinese president, Xi Jinping, to ask what is happening. Because we have to remember that when we had the H1N1 outbreak and other illnesses of that kind, China was also involved in Hong Kong. And so this is a section of the world where you have sometimes outbreaks of the flu and it can spread around the world, okay? So as we go on, the, I, I put in some maps that was put in place by the authorities. And as we roll the maps, you will see that it began to spread all over the world. So it started in China, which is the Far East. Soon it spread to Europe. And as the maps continue to roll, you will notice that there were countries in North America that had it. And this is a list now of the countries with specialized laboratories that can test for the COVID-19. We have an influenza center in Jamaica at University Hospital. So we can test for COVID-19. And that's a good thing. All right, beautiful. All right. So what, where did this virus come from? You must have heard the story that it came into Jamaica via a submarine. <laughs> but we don't believe those things. Just like how they said that the chikungunya came into Jamaica when the plane crashed in Portland. But church people are not foolish people. Hmm? Viruses and germs, a lot of them live in the soil. They also live in animals. So the coronaviruses live in host animals. And these are some of the animals that really you may find the coronavirus the pangolin the bats and the bats that we're talking about are not the ones that you see flying around every day in jamaica it's more so the rat bat have you ever seen a rat bat and he hangs upside down right so in some countries of the world it is a delicacy hmm? just like how oxtail is a delicacy Right. So in some countries of the world, it is a delicacy. So we have also the rhizomy, which is the um, rat that you will find in the bamboo areas, hedgehog, the cats, the snakes. So from time to time, persons will consume, they will catch animals and eat them wild animals they call it bush meat it's not just in asia in africa and may i say in jamaica yes because mongoose meat is now a big delicacy in jamaica yes yes a lot of people are now eating crocodiles and mongoose in jamaica they seem to get a a a, a ready appetite for what they call bush meat the taste and the flavor, and a lot of people go for that. Hmm? So these are the usual reservoirs for the virus, some of the viruses and bacteria that may infect human beings. Hmm? All right, so we call it a zoonotic disease. Diseases that are in the animal world can be transferred to human beings. Just like the zoo, a zoonosis. And then you can have person-to-person -person spread. And that's exactly what happened. All right? So, what are the clinical features? It is a respiratory illness. So, in other words, you don't get COVID-19 from eating food with the virus. It's not a foodborne illness. 
Hmm? You don't get it from, uh, let me see if I can find another simple example, via the fecal oral route, meaning if your hands are contaminated with urine or feces, you can get it that way. It comes directly from the respiratory tract, out of the lungs and the airwaves. Somebody who is infected, if they cough, sneeze, or even talk, the germs can come out of the nostrils. Eh? And if it falls on your face, hmm, on your hands, or if the surface is soiled, and you touch your face or your eyes, it can be transmitted. Are you okay, brethren? And you understand what I'm saying? Beautiful. So we can go a little faster now. The incubation period. If you become infected with the germ, how long after before you begin to develop signs and symptoms? A range is there. Up to 14 days. Hmm? But for most people who come down with the illness, within six days. The first case in Jamaica, the person traveled to Jamaica hmm? and within six days they came down ill so you might ask didn't they see her at the airport she wasn't ill at the time are you understanding me now so you may be incubating the germ as you travel so when you're coming through the airport you don't have any fever you're not coughing you're not sneezing but when you come home then the signs and the symptoms develop. Why do I say that? Be careful of your relatives and friends who come from abroad now. Don't run, go and hug them up. And if you can give them their own room, let them stay in their own room. Better yet, if they can stay at a hotel, let them stay at a hotel. Sound hard, brethren? Talk to me, church. Sounds hard? I'm talking about your relatives and friends coming from abroad. If they can stay at a hotel, better. If they, can st if they don't have it, give them their own room and watch them for a few days. Do you understand me? And let me just tell you that the government of Jamaica has not landed a number of persons, meaning they are turned back at the airport. And if you're a Jamaican, we can't turn you back. But you must go through a period of quarantine. So we have a number of quarantine facilities in Jamaica. And if you are coming from an affected country, you have to go there and spend 14 days. Or you might be quarantined in your home if your home is in the right condition. So do you understand me, brethren? Beautiful. All right, so let's move on. All right, let us go continue. Let us continue. All right, so how does it spread? I told you before. How does it spread? An infected person, when they cough, and what is the other one? Sneeze, and a third one? Talk. The droplets comes out. Hmm? And the... Uh, what they have noticed or observed is that the droplets will fall to the ground. If you are near enough, it can go into your, on your face or you might inhale it. Hmm? Are you with me now? So it spreads via this route. All right. Also, it might be on the surfaces it might be on the doorknob. Persons might sneeze in their hands and open the door. Do you understand me, brethren? Hmm? It might be on the toys of the children. We call those fomites. So that is why you need now to clean and sanitize the surfaces in your home. The doorknob, the tabletop, the toys. Hmm? The fridge door. Uh, the light switch your phone huh the germs might be on those surfaces all right beautiful so that is how it is transmitted continue so if you see this uh slide here the person on the left is infected and as they cough sneeze or talk 
the germs are expelled from the mouth or the nose and the other person on the right can become infected is it clear brethren beautiful let's continue all right so what are the signs and symptoms we have been through that already there are five major signs and symptoms hmm? the first one is fever fever dry cough no the cold when you have a cold you usually have a wet cough you cough up something the flu now normally comes with dry cough hmm? then there is what shortness of breath there might be muscle aches and pains and respiratory distress meaning you can hardly breathe your chest is tight pains you difficulty breathing to the point where you may need to be hospitalized that's the difference the big difference between the common cold and flus there is respiratory problem severe acute respiratory problems and you may need to be hospitalized all right let us move on person okay how do you we're looking at the risk potential because it's a new virus it was called the novel coronavirus new it had the potential to spread around the world and that is what exactly what happened so the whole world is in fear because it is a new virus it can spread rapidly around the world what do i mean a lot of us don't get the flu you know why our bodies have what a good immune system and we resist the flu a lot of people got chicken gunya you know why it was a new infection so whenever you have a new infection spreading the world is not our bodies have no immunity to it and so it will spread rapidly around the world okay and that is why it is so fearful all right how do you prevent it number one stay healthy you need a good immune system can i tell you that 83 percent or more of all the persons who are infected they get well they get well 80 odd percent get sick does that sound good brethren yes so although you see so many people panicking and getting excited it doesn't kill as many people as the seasonal flu yes most of who become infected get well and the best method or the best weapon to fight infections like the flu is to have a good immune system are you with me brethren so now is the time you need to eat up your fruits and your vegetables especially your green leafy vegetables hmm? stay away from people who smoke don't drink go to bed on time get proper rest build up your immune system and there's something that you can also use along with your vitamin c supplements it is zinc supplements it's good for your immune system did you hear me brethren so along with getting your vitamin c supplement ask them for some zinc supplements very good for your immune system stay away from crowds we're talking about prevention stay away from crowds if you see people coughing and sneezing run serious thing brethren hmm? i know we are all church people i was in church yesterday and the new way of greeting each other pastor amen brethren let us put the handshaking aside for now 
it doesn't mean we are not Christians. But we are dealing with a real situation. Hmm? The hugging and the embracing, for now, put it aside. God told Moses in Exodus and Numbers how to prevent infection. Hmm? And that is why God said, for seven days, isolate the people. Don't let them come into the camp if they're having certain infection. It's coming from heaven itself. Are you with me, brethren? It's not strange. So stay away from crowds. Stay away from sick people. If you yourself become sick, quarantine yourself. Isolate yourself. Hmm? All right, let's move on. Time is going and I don't want to keep you too long. So personal protection measures. Wash your hands often. I saw some people buying all the expensive products. I hear that there a little bottle of Lysol now is $3,000. Brethren, household bleach. Talk to me, church. Don't go borrow no loan to go buy them expensive thing. Household bleach. Soap and water. Very good. Hand sanitizer is good, especially when you're on the road. But guess what? Don't sanitize a dirty hands. Your hands must be washed with soap and water. And then you sanitize. Do you need to wear a mask? You wear a mask if you are sick or if you're taking care of the sick person. So all them people I see on Halfway Tree Road and Reddell's Road in Mass is a new fashion statement. You wear a mask if you are sick or if you're taking care of the ill person. Amen, brethren? Beautiful. All right, let's move on. S social distancing. It has been found out that if you stay at least three to six feet from someone, it is reasonably safe because the particles that comes out of the nose, the mouth, when you sneeze and cough, they tend to fall to the ground. They don't float in the air like persons with tuberculosis. Persons with TB, when they cough, hmm, the particles are much lighter and smaller and they will float in the ears for long. So even if the person left the room and you came into the room probably an hour later, you can become infected. But with COVID-19, the particles are a little heavier. Hmm? And they tend to fall to the ground within three to six feet. So that's what we call it now the social distancing. Stay, keep a distance between people. And if you can work from home, work from home. Hmm? And schools are closed. It is an aggressive way of trying to contain the spread of COVID-19. Now, an important thing I must point out to you. The authorities have said we have eight cases. We have just started. So we might have hundreds of cases, thousands of cases. Hmm? The disease has to run its course. When it runs its course, it peaks, it reaches a peak, and then it plateau. What do I mean by plateau? It levels off, and then it falls in terms of the number of cases rapidly. We've not reached this or yet. So there are a lot more cases that will come. Don't panic. Don't be listen to any and every media. There are a lot of misinformation out there. Listen to your radio. Watch your television. Yes, the smartphone, but be careful where your source is coming from. Hmm? People will tell you, say, all right, just eat a lot of garlic. Just gargle your mouth with this. Listen to the correct sources. Amen, brethren? All right. And coming down to a close, 
we want to tell you that there may come a point where you'll have to close church. It might happen to that. To prevent transmission around. It doesn't mean you're not a Christian. Stay home and praise the Lord. I was in church yesterday. Thank God your church is open today. Huh? So until you reach that point, continue to serve the Lord. Hmm? I'm going to close off here and you can ask a few questions. All right? Any questions? Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, then. Good. Sorry, Christian, the gloves. The gloves. Come out the gloves. Yes. All right. Just like the mask, gloves. Okay. We, it, people even ask the Ministry of Health, why don't the people in Burger King and KFC wear gloves? We don't encourage the wearing of gloves. We encourage hand washing. Somebody will have on a pair of gloves and handle garbage and come back to handle food. I see some taxi men in gloves and they're going to wear the gloves for the whole day. Do you see where I'm going, brethren? Wash your hands with soap and water. If you're, hand, if you're dealing with sick, wear your mask, wear your gloves. Are you with me, brethren? Beautiful. All right. Yes, sir. You say that it's transmitted from person to person. No, currently, yes. Right. But what about the first person or oh, that was transmitted? All right. Remember, I told you that the germ lives in animals. Animals. Hmm? Tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. In my grandmother's day, consumption, they call it. It was spread through the air, same like this. But it was, you could get TB from milk also. If the cow had TB and the milk was not pasteurized, you could get TB too. And if you eat, ate the meat, you could get TB too. Why do I say that? There are certain germs that animals are infected with most of them do not kill the animal but if human beings consume the animals the germ the infection can be transmitted from animals to human beings and then from person to person and that's exactly what happened with COVID-19 all right good Okay, the, uh, there was another question there. Yes, go ahead, sister. Um, you see people recovering from... COVID-19? Right. Yes. And they don't have a vaccine. So what is the secret? All right. So there's a whole lot of things we don't know about COVID-19. It's new. But it is believed that once you have it, there is some amount of immunity. That's the belief now. They're not sure. Just like dengue, you can get dengue fever how many times? Four times. Because there's dengue fever virus one, two, three, and four. And then you build up immunity to all four. All right? So, it is believed that you will develop some immunity once you get COVID-19. But it's not certain even up to now. Because it's a new virus. Okay? Good. All right, sir. Um, once it is that you, you, you have the infection, how long does it take for you to recover? How long does it take? Again, it depends on your immune system. Okay. Some people will take longer than others to recover like seven and days some people will week? die usually you know the flu can last up to two weeks some people will be debilitated up to three weeks huh pain and fatigue and weakness even up to three weeks hmm? but usually 
within two weeks, most people recover. The lady uh, that, that is after the signs and the symptoms. And remember, you can become infected and there are no signs and symptoms. symptoms. Okay. The lady that came in from the UK. Mm -hmm. um, it is that said is, that... that is, Case number zero. Zero. Patient mm -hmm. zero. Mm -hmm. It just said that she was sweating like a hog. Sweating she, like a pig. Yes. She was sweating. Mm -hmm. um, I know you said that it's transmitted, um, respir it's a respiratory yes. transmission. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But can it be infected by persons hogging her when her sweat got, no? Again, up again, there are certain things we don't know. Does it pass through sweat? Is it in your urine? We're not sure. But they have found shedding in the feces. But again, if it is in the food and it goes down into the mouth, there is a school of thought out there that the acids in the stomach may kill the germ. So up to today, it is not a route for transmission via food or sweating or breast milk. Up to today. All right? Good. Sir, um, a follow up on the first person that had the case. Yes. All right. You said that she showed no symptom when coming. Uh, can I stop you here? And Pastor, Reverend, I should have said it. Do we have any member in this congregation who lives in Bull Bay? All right. All right. Bull Bay is an area. That we call an affected area it is on the lockdown i would advise you i would advise you if you're a member here that you go into the quarantine in your community for now can i be more plainer than that brethren i would advise you if you're a member here that for the next two to three weeks if church remains open that you worship at home are you with me it doesn't mean you're not a christian but what happened is that there is a certain level of spread in the community and we're still trying to find the cases in the community are you with me brethren all right beautiful all right sir can continue yes can continue yes go ahead all right you said she showed no key, um no symptoms mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. However, we here in Jamaica, we were aware that the virus was out. Mm -hmm. Couldn't she have been quarantined for the 14 days before she actually um, started traveling all around all right. in the country? All right, let me cover that again. All flights coming into Jamaica and all ships coming into Jamaica. If you are a Jamaican citizen or you're married to a Jamaican, you must be granted landing privileges. We can't turn you back. If you are coming from an affected country, you will be quarantined. If you're coming from China, South Korea, Pakistan, uh, Iran, I think United Kingdom was added to the list, Japan, you will be quarantined. Hmm? You can be quarantined in your home or a government facility, depending on the risk that are identified. Those who are not coming from an affected country and have no signs and symptoms are free to go home. So the person who we're speaking about, she had no fever, no sweating, no cough. So she was free to go home when passing through immigration. But so she's coming from England, right? She was coming from England, but she had no signs or symptoms. And she's a Jamaican citizen. And at the time, England was not one of the countries that we had a travel ban on are you with me so we did the, the, there was not travel ban on england there were seven countries england was not one of them okay all right i just want to, just want to, to 
No, if it is factual that the heat. If? The heat is able to resist. If heat? Yeah. All right. It is believed that the number of cases will decline rapidly as the summer months come on. But guess what? We don't know. We're not sure. It's a new outbreak. So we hope it will be so. We hope it will be so. All right? So that's it. Okay, Praise I saw the Lord, my... sir. Yes. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Praise the Lord. Yes. Sir, I read two stories yes. from credible sources. I'm not sure if how true it is. <sighs> All right. Yeah, that's not redundant. All right. I read two stories from yes. credible sources that two persons recovered and re-catch the virus. Is that true? Like I said, based on the literature that we get and the advice we get, it is believed that there's some amount of immunity is acquired if you were infected. If that happened, it might be possible. It's a new outbreak. A lot of things we don't know. Uh, one more question. A lot sorry. of things we don't know. So I won't, I won't stand here and deny it. It's a new outbreak. We don't know many things. Right, but, so the, but the scientists, the experts in the world are of the opinion that you will acquire an immunity if you had it first. And right now in China, China was having 500 deaths per day. China is having less than 30 people dying per day. Which is telling you that their control measures have worked and people are not being reinfected. Sir, how true is the Chinese though? Because they were trying to cover up mm -hmm. all of those bad news that was coming from their countries. So yes. that they are reporting that they have a mass reduction. How yes. true? Let me tell all right? Don't forget that... Sorry, sir. One final question, yes. sir. For, for black people, mm -hmm. I read where it's said that um, in Nigeria and mm -hmm. in most parts of Africa, mm -hmm. there's very minimal cases. Is it this thing about Asians and white people? No. Fake news. Fake news. And thank God it is not spreading among poor African countries. Many would die. We should be thanking God. We should be thanking God. All right? Yes, sir. What is the main system? P pardon me? The main symptoms. The main symptoms. Remember I told you that there are five major symptoms. And the, 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 the one that is most common is fever. Fever. Huh? What were the others? Cough. Pardon me? No man. Fever, cough, shortness of breath, muscle aches, uh, difficulty breathing. Hmm? Right. Right. Okay? Right. There are other symptoms, you know, but they are minor. Some people get diarrhea. Some people, there's a little blood in the sputum. But th th those are the minor symptoms. Beautiful. Yes, my sister. Pray. Oh, Pray. sorry. Praise. There was a hand down there. Praise the Lord, sir. Praise the Lord, my brother. Just two quick questions. Is K0 still alive? There's a yes. rumor. Okay. Yes. All right. Next one. Yes, she's still Can alive. Can a virus live in your hair? Why I'm asking this? I watch uh, a documentary on COVID-19 in China. And what I realize, all the health workers, especially the females, yes. they shave their hair well bald. Mm -hmm. So it is saying something to me. Can you answer me that question concerning co the, the virus in here? All right. Okay. Beautiful. All right. So the virus can survive outside of the body for some hours up to a few days. So anything that it lands on, it can survive for some hours up to a few days it can survive 
And once it is there, persons can become infected. Okay? It, it's, its ability to survive depends on the temperature. Hmm? If the place is moist, it can survive longer. If the place is hot and dry, it will dry out and you die. Okay? Yes. Ye yes, my dear. Oh, yes, sir. I need some clarity here. It is all said that you must drink water, ensure mm -hmm. that you keep your throat moist. moist. Yes. And the rationale for that is the virus can stay at, stay at your throat for four days. Mm -hmm. But when you drink that water, mm -hmm. it will wash it down through the esophagus to mm -hmm. the stomach. Mm -hmm. And then the hydrochloric acid will take care of it. Okay. Now it is out that the virus is in the stool. It can be. Yeah, they have found it in the stool also. So that means it doesn't take care in the stomach then where the hydrochloric <laughs> acid is gone through. That, that's why I remember I told you that there are many different sources out there telling you all kinds of things. But remember now, if you have the flu, rehydration is a good method of dealing with the flu. When you have the flu, you sweat a lot, you urinate, you might have diarrhea, so you are losing body fluids, hmm? plus the salts in your body, you need to replenish them. So drinking a lot of water is always good when you have the flu. All right? Yes, sir. Yes, my I sister. I to find out how important is rest. Rest. How important is rest in this country? Remember we talk about building your immune system, eating good food, staying away from persons who are sick stay away from people who smoke getting a lot of rest very good for building your immune system very important okay yes mr williams this yes. is a question i have um in the face of this pandemic yes i know there is um great cooperation between all the countries of the world yes I thought I heard last week that when the President of the United States was announced in a, a, a national emergency in the U.S., yes. I thought I heard the Vice President Mike Pence say that actually they're going to start some clinical um, testing. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So um, seeing we have cooperation, have we heard, because I haven't heard anything about whether or not that clinical testing of that antidote is working or not i don't know if you have heard anything there's any information no man the, the test that they are conducting is to determine if you are infected oh i thought i thought, no, it, was, I no, thought it was an antidote it has not been found as yet okay, okay. it is going to take a year to 18 months to develop a vaccine for covid19 it takes time it takes time because even if they found one tomorrow you have a phase that they call clinical testing where they have to test lab animals first and then human beings it takes time to develop a vaccine all right Hello, so thank sir. you very much sir yes christian just asking about um like the traveling now is there any ban from here to like u.s something like that the U.S. has not put out a travel ban on the Caribbean. It has put out a travel ban on Europe and the Asian countries. So Didn't you hear that American Airlines are, they are parking 75% of their planes? American Airlines. So, so but, but hold on now. Let me guide you now. No Jamaican should want to travel now unless it is extremely important and that's why the ministry of health said that travel should be done only if it is essential you're going for medical treatment hmm? or probably your mother died no jamaican should be wanting to travel now as you say, medical it, thing and mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. what about when we are when you come back, back here really you will be quarantined <laughs> thank you very much brethren thank you
That's one question, Sir William. Yes, um, yes, yes. He, he did mention that the droplets can fall to the ground. Pardon me? The droplets. Yes, the droplets right. will fall to the ground. Right, question. What if somebody is walking barefooted? Um, mm -hmm. Is there a possibility that there could be any... Well, it, it may happen, you know. And I tell you... Our children playing in God, the, God is the good, Bertrand. God is good all the time. Pastor, very few children have become infected. It must be God. Very few children have died. It must be God. And remember now, they are more at risk because they are below you. Hmm? When you cough and sneeze, they get the full brunt of it. Very few have been infected. Very few have died. It must be God. <laughs> Thank you very much, brethren. Thank you very much. All right, thanks. Um, could you just, um, before you go, we want to say special, special thanks to, could you just, just be seated for another two minutes. I know we're anxious to go. All right, so I, I just want to take this opportunity to thank Mr. Williams for taking time out of his busy schedule. Yes, clap. Let's give him a applause. Yes. Sure, you know, the information that we, um, received today would have make us much more aware of what is involved in this um, this virus and also some of the things that probably we may have had misconceptions about and so we'll move on more with a greater level of consciousness. So thank you Sir Williams and we do appreciate the time out and God bless you richly <laughs> and, amen. and thank you Bridget. God bless you, have a safe trip home and Take all necessary precaution. Let's pray, 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 pray. God bless you. Amen. Okay.